the channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jordan. I'm a first year medical student. Today is Monday. It's around 10.15 and I'm just kind of wrapping everything up for the day. Today was a bit of an interesting Monday. We had an 8 a.m. Uh, team-based learning session. So basically what that is, um, we have a sort of individual quiz we take. Um, it's just like 10 questions. We do that first thing when we get there. Then we have a team that we take the same quiz together. Um, they're kind of weighted differently for our overall score. I think it's like 60% is our team one and then 40% is our individual one. So we kind of get a chance to, to go over everything ourselves to see what we know, but then also kind of come together, talk about everything. The way it usually works is everyone gets a few wrong on the individual one and then you do a little bit better on the team one. So we had that, uh, then we had our patient presentation small group, where this week uh, we kind of knew it was going to be about cancer because you can kind of look ahead throughout you know the whole lectures for the weekend it's it's going to be sort of in that ballpark of material and a lot of our lectures this week are going to be on cancer so we we're all like okay well whoever's coming in is probably going to have some kind of cancer um, and it's pretty interesting for me because the case uh it's this 28 year old man who's coming in for a new skin growth or you know something that's growing that his wife just noticed uh, so immediately i was thinking skin cancer and so everything was kind of pointing to that and it was funny they actually put up a picture of uh what the spot looked like and it was like the most classic example of melanoma you could have. Um, so me and someone else in my group, uh, she also worked in dermatology, so we were, we were having a little bit of fun. We were like, oh my god, this person, like, poor guy, it's definitely melanoma, um, before we actually like had any of the results back. But then uh, right at the end of the class, they showed us like a pathology report and sure enough, it was melanoma. Unfortunately, I know this isn't uh, a real case, but uh, is a very advanced stage, uh, you know, it was invasive, it was basically like the highest stage. The, it said that there was um, involvement with the lymph nodes, which means it might be metastasizing, so really bad. But you know, throughout the week we're getting more information on this topic, like cancer genetics and uh, tumor progression and all that kind of stuff, so it actually, I think it's going to be a bit more of an interesting week compared to last week. Last week was all about drugs and pharmacokinetics and dynamics, so um, not my cup of tea, but I think this week might be a little bit better. And then our last lecture of the day was one of our health system science lectures. Um, that one was not bad at all. Uh, a lot of this information that we've learned so far in that class, I've kind of already seen before just in my public health classes back in college. So um, that wasn't too bad. Came home, uh, did a lot of work this afternoon. We've got uh, two lectures tomorrow, which uh, had a lot of pre-work for them, especially the cancer genetics one. But I am interested to see what we learn about in that one. But yeah, that's really it for right now. I'm very tired, so I need to get some sleep. So I will check in with you guys in the morning. <music> What is up everyone? It is Wednesday afternoon, right around three o'clock. Really didn't film much yesterday. It was just a very busy day. But yesterday morning, um, we had another online lecture where we all had to go to school, but the teacher was on Zoom. It was on uh, drugs again, so that was fine. It's definitely not my favorite subject. Um, and we've already learned a lot of it. So it's just kind of review, but it's nice because everything is kind of clicking now. Um, and then our second session was on cancer genetics. So that actually was a little interesting. I'm more excited for the sessions later in the week because instead of just talking about like the genetics of cancer, we're actually gonna talk about like how cancer starts and how it metastasizes and like the different progression for tumors and stuff. So that's gonna come tomorrow and Friday. So I actually am looking forward to that. Today was just a clinical skills day. Uh, so it was pretty chill. We had a small group from eight to 10 and we just kind of went over how to do a bunch of different parts of uh, the medical interview. We did HPI, past medical history, social history, family history, review systems. Um, 
We had already kind of learned a lot about this in different parts, but today was the first day that we kind of put it all together. And we had some one-on-one -on -one time with our facilitator to kind of walk through those skills. You know, sometimes we'll get standardized patients, which are basically paid actors to like do this in a more official way, but, but obviously that's expensive and sort of a hassle. So uh, a lot of the times it's just like us practicing on each other. So we've only had one of those standardized patients so far. Um, that was like our first week of school or something crazy like that. And our next one is, I think our seventh week of our block. So that's in like two weeks. Um, and then the next week we're actually like graded or tested on two encounters. So um, we only have one more time to like really practice before it counts, um, but it's fine. I mean, a lot of us have had clinical experience before, so it's, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it's just kind of weird when you know that you're being observed and like the patient's an actor and all this kind of stuff. So I'm glad that we have one more time to practice before it's the real deal. So after school, I just kind of chilled and studied with some people. Um, we have a lot of pre-work for tomorrow because it's two big sessions on cancer. Also, I've been kind of slacking on going to the gym this week just because I've been going to sleep really late. I haven't had the motivation to get up early and go. Um, that's a big priority to me uh, as being able to stay physically active. So I don't know, hopefully I can get to the gym tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm not sure with all the work that we have to do. At the very least, I'm gonna go for a walk today just because I need to get outside. It's a beautiful day and it'll help me do something active. Um, tomorrow, I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to do that track workout again, but my knee's honestly been bothering me since the last one last week. Um, so I don't know, we'll see. It's, it's been fine when I've been lifting, but every time I walk downstairs, um, it's it's been a little bit painful. So I think I'll probably try to go. Um, I don't know if I'll actually be able to complete the workout or, you know, go 100%, but we'll see. One fun thing that I did do yesterday was watch the new Game of Thrones prequel. Uh, I didn't have time to do it when it released on Sunday just because uh, I was pre prepping for this week, but I took an hour to do that last night. Um, I think what I'm gonna try to start doing is like setting a cutoff time for when I stop studying every day, just because it's so easy to just keep reviewing stuff. Um, if you don't like have that separation, then you're you're gonna go crazy with overworking yourself. So that's something that some upperclassmen have suggested is like have like an eight thirty or nine o'clock just like cut off. Um, so that's kind of what I did last night. Uh, it was like nine thirty, and I just stopped working and just threw on some TV for an hour and then went to bed. So I'm gonna see how that works with me. I think it'll help me be a little bit more balanced. Um, I think I'll allow myself to do like, YouTube stuff after that just cause like I enjoy it. Um, I just like throw in some music and edit. Um, it's like honestly just a way for me to decompress. So I'll still be able to do that later. Um, but yeah, I think like 8.30 or nine is gonna be my cutoff for uh, actual schoolwork. That's really it for right now. I have, like I said, a lot of work to do for tomorrow. So I'm gonna do that and I will check in with you guys later.
what is up everyone it is sunday night so it's been quite a while since i last checked in it was a very busy weekend so i guess let's go back to friday god now i can't even remember what i did friday <laughs> so we had our normal small group in the morning and then we had like a two and a half hour lecture on cancer metastasis uh after that so we were done like right before one o'clock on friday i was super tired after school um it was just all building up from the week i think so i came home and i slept for like two or three hours it was so nice uh but I had to get up and do a little bit of work um, because I went out with some friends that night. We went to like a very authentic Korean restaurant. Um, a few of my friends in my class are Korean, so uh, we went to this area like maybe 20, 25 minutes away that it's almost like a small Korea town. Every single business there, everything was just all in Korean. Um, so there was maybe like eight or nine of us at dinner. It was uh, very fun. We just kind of trusted my friend Jasper uh, for, you know, whatever he wanted to order and, you know, wanted us to try and everything was amazing. And then after that, we went to karaoke. Um, it wasn't like a karaoke bar. It was literally like this room that you rent out and just like everyone in there was our classmates. So um, we did that for a few hours. So that was fun. And then afterwards, um, about half of us went to another bar and just kind of like chilled for another hour before we went home. So that was very fun. Um, and then Saturday, got up and had to be very productive as well in the morning. Um, took our quiz and went to the gym, studied bunch because um, I went into New York City. Went to dinner and then met up with actually my cousin who lives in the city. Uh, so that was really fun to see her. Uh, she's been here for like a little over a year and I've never seen her apartment. So I got to see that um, and we just kind of chilled and caught up. It was really nice to see her. And then today, Sunday, um, got up decently early cause I went on a hike with a bunch of my classmates um, around like 11. So it was like a three mile hike and then we ended up going to a deli like right by the trail and it was amazing. Um, I got like this sandwich with uh, like grilled chicken, uh, pesto, tomatoes, basil, and it was on focaccia, which was crazy. But so that still took up a pretty significant portion of my day. I probably got home around like three and then was able to start working again. I've pretty much been working since now. I went to the school to, um, to be able to focus a little more and then went to the grocery store on the way home. Um, so it's like 8.30 and I'm just like cooking dinner right now. I still have tomorrow's pre-work to do, so that's gonna be two Boards and Beyond videos. So I'm definitely not done. And you know, one thing that this weekend shows is like me trying to find balance. Um, you know, every single day I did something very fun with my classmates um, for like a significant amount of time, but that just meant all the other hours of the days I had to actually grind. I had very little time where I was just kind of like relaxing watching Netflix, but you know, that's what you have to do if, if you want to get all your responsibilities done as a student and go out and have fun with your classmates. And I, you know, I really prefer to be doing this as opposed to, you know, getting my work done and just kind of like relaxing at home. Um, I mean, I do that a decent amount throughout the week, you know, after I'm done studying like eight o'clock, nine, I just throw on Netflix for a few hours, but I'm really trying to take full advantage of the weekends um, where everyone has a little bit more time. We can go out and do these things. You know, that hike that I went on, the, there's a crew that goes every single weekend. Uh, every Sunday they go at like 11 a.m. So I'm gonna hopefully try to do that a lot, a lot more often. It was really nice um, just to get out and do something with my classmates. Uh, same thing with going into the city. I mean, that was my first time going in besides like we had a boat tour during orientation, but that didn't really count. We just kind of walked through the city to get to the boat. Um, but so that was really like my first real time going into the city since I've been here. And I definitely want to take advantage of that. Uh, it was easy to get in, easy to get home. So, so I'm definitely gonna try to do that more, especially with uh, me having a family in the city. I know for a fact I'm going next weekend and probably not for the next few because then our exams are coming up. We have really only two more weeks of classes until our exam because during our exam week, we don't have any lectures. We just have the exam on Friday and then we have OSCEs, which are like our standardized patient tests basically. But yeah, so for those weekends kind of surrounding that, I probably won't do anything crazy, but definitely gonna try to take more advantage
advantage of being close to New York City. You know, I don't want medical school to take over my life. I want to take advantage of my free time as much as possible and make great memories with my classmates while I'm here. So that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see videos like this in the future. Thanks, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.